you don't expect to find a Caribbean island band in the Monadnock region, but they're just great. The Tropical Sensations Steel Drum Band is spreading island vibes across the Granite State. They even have groupies. I never miss them wherever they play. This band has had gigs all over New England and as far away as Florida. A lot of it's Caribbean calypso, but we also do polkas, we do show tunes, we do classical pieces, so it's a little bit of everything. We have Christmas songs that we do in the winter, um, we have church music that we play, so if there's, if there's sheet music, we can play it. It's happy music. You can't feel sad or you don't have any hurts and pains when you're playing steel drums. Maybe afterwards, but while you're playing, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. Band leader Elaine Merrifield started teaching the steel drum in the Monadnock School District, where she was a music educator for 40 years. Mrs. Merrifield, I still call her Mrs. Merrifield, Elaine, um, uh, was my band teacher in elementary school and so I got involved with steel drums at the age of I think 10. It's an unusual instrument. It is. Very How unusual. How did you get the department to buy into all these steel drums? I was very lucky. I live in a small town of 2,000 people and we have a wonderful district that realizes the, the value of musical education. My daughter was in her first group, and at the time, I happened to be chair of the Monadnock School Board, and I just sort of mentioned to Elaine, gee, if you ever have an opening. And then uh, the staff was interested, so they had to play, and then the parents were interested, so I started another group. Then community members were interested, and I started another group, so I had seven groups going at one point. And this one has been the performing group right along. Money raised from concerts pays for their rehearsal space in Troy. Everybody that took lessons started with this song. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, sorry, three. Oh, oh, a lot of oh okay. <laughs> Okay, how do you, where am I supposed to stand? <laughs> that, right, I'm in your way. So, and you tend to move a lot playing the double second. It's, right. it's a move. It's a lot back and forth. Oh, yeah. Right, so yeah. it's like a dance. It is a dance. Playing the steel drum, you can't help but feel the music. Concerts, the familiar tunes get some right out of their seats doing those old steps. We started doing the polka together 60 years ago at a Polish polka night. Others prefer to sing along to the old favorites. I think it's great. You know, the sound of the drums is kind of magical. The way it just comes out in the atmosphere is really great. Stop. Now you would okay. repeat that and you might want to hit just a little softer. <laughs> I'm getting into the music. I, I, I know you are. <laughs> It gives a lot of joy. It's pretty foolproof. You can make mistakes and, you know, keep going. There's something about making music together that's just, that's great, it's magical. You can't help but tap your foot. Absolutely, yep. Yep, it is a toe tapper for sure. Probably a little big, <laughs> but <laughs> all right. I'm really part of the group. had never played an instrument and couldn't even read music before joining the group and now they're entertaining crowds. Roberta Netto, another former music educator in the group, was a student teacher with Elaine years ago and now this snowbird has started her own steel drum band in Florida where she winters. We are the Sunsations. <laughs> Instead of the tropical sensations, the Sunsations. So we have a great time.
nice. That was great. That was very nice. Can we play it again? Sure. <laughs> I've heard steel drums before, but I've never seen a group this big, and it, it was just really fun. And afterwards, half a dozen more came up and said, this is the best thing we've ever seen. And that's what makes it all worthwhile, seeing the joy that people get from hearing our music.